Okay, here we're going to prepare the end of the wire for soldering to an LED and then solder it on. So I'm gonna remove about an eighth of an inch of the wire insulation from the wire and then I'm gonna tin it. I'm gonna prepare that by taking a little bit of solder and applying it to the end of clean my tip. I'm gonna apply a little bit of solder. Always apply a little bit of solder to the end of the to the tip of the iron and then kind of bring it together and just apply a little bit of solder to the end of the wire. Now I've got there's already solder on the LED pad, so I'm just gonna secure the LED to the work surface. And then I'm going to secure the wire to the work surface. I'm gonna put a little bend in it so that I can make sure that there's a down force on it. So you can see how there's a sort of a spring force on the wire so that it applies pressure. And if I can get that to align well enough, I'm gonna give it a go. So that's pushing down the tin end of the wire onto the solder pad. Now I'm just gonna add, I'm gonna re-prepare the surface. I want a good heat transfer this process, and if I do it right, it shouldn't take too long. You know, every solder joint's for different, slightly different, but let's see if we can just make our joint. I'm gonna push pressure down and roll it and then let it go. And I'll have to test that because you know, I tried it very quickly. And I can see that it's, it's fairly strong. Yep, not that strong, so I'm gonna try it again, but this is learned by doing. Now there's a lot of ways to do this. I'm gonna make sure that I always have a tip of the iron prepared, clean, tinned. And then I'll put a little bit of pressure down on it, making sure that I keep it right there locally and then remove it. And now that it's cooled, I'll just test it again and see if it's a little bit stronger now. It feels pretty strong, so I feel like that's a pretty good joint right there, and, uh, and I can go with that.